Happy Friday, everybody, on the last day of January. Good to see you all. Ken, good to see you. Good morning, everybody. Good, 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 good. Well, get used to it. That's the last time you're going to hear that Fox uh, NFL theme song because uh, Super Bowl is this weekend, and a lot of my friends are a little jealous. They all took off so far to hit Miami, but uh, that's okay. It'll be there, and when I die and we all die, they'll still have the NFL, so... Maybe next year. But uh, so before we get started to go through some watch lists, I know we got a couple of NFL players out there, uh, fans out there. What do you guys, what do you, who, who wants what to win? And please don't pick the Jets because they're out of it. <laughs> My wife was wearing red Chiefs shirt oh, uh, to work today. Bummed. <laughs> Wayne, <laughs> Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. Ah, uh, the Pats. Sorry, Mark. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe another 20 years. <laughs> A lot of people picking the Chiefs. Wow, good, 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 good. I like the Chiefs to win too. You know, they haven't won like fifty years. I'm I'm more of a person that when they haven't won a, won a Super Bowl in a long time, I guess because being one of them, I guess I'll pick that too. But anyway, uh, so that that that's that, ladies and gentlemen. But listen, it's the last day of the pay period. We all know what's going on with the last day of the pay period. We don't want to get too crazy. We don't want to we don't want to ruin what we've done so far for the year. So I always kind of take a little bit easy on a day like today. I don't get too cocky, especially ending on a Friday. So uh, it's like almost like a it's a, almost like a perfect storm. You you know the market is down right now. It's down about 130. Listen, I told you this from before. I told you this again. That coronavirus is getting worse and worse, and it's only going to get worse before it gets better. So there are a lot of stocks that are basically capitalized on it. You got the NNVC right now that's doing pretty well. This stock was $2 literally less than about two weeks ago. We killed it on the stock, went from 4 to 14 and it came right back down. But you could see the stock is all over the place. Be very, very careful trading this stock right here because I know some of us want to trade it. doesn't mean that you can. So um, you got to be a pretty advanced trader to trade the stock. And if you do trade it, just trade 100 shares. Don't get crazy, guys. Listen, look at the, look at the, level, uh, the level 3 on the right. There's not a lot of orders out there, even though we trade over 2 million shares of it, but it is going to be extremely volatile. It's actually coming right now to a big support level right now. Now, um, there were a couple of stocks that were doing also pretty well. Listen, you all heard the news. Who didn't think Amazon was going to do phenomenal? I mean, Amazon breaking all-time highs. Uh, more people are doing online shopping. You know, but, but listen— Amazon is going to affect other stocks, okay? So anything that's in this industry, you know, is going to do well. Anything that's against it is going to get crushed. But, you know, the retailers, I mean, you know, seeing how this company's doing, you know, listen, um, there's a lot of other stocks out there you could, that you could trade. Actually, this is probably the only time I ever tell somebody, you know, I like Amazon. I want to trade Amazon. I see the trend of it. I can't afford it. Then you could trade an option, you know? Then you could do an option trade on it. But, don't, but, but now what? Now what? You, you, if you did it yesterday, you got lucky, you traded it during that little bit of a correction, great. So options are still expensive on it, so let's go look at something that we can afford. So don't, not, don't try to look over and uh, say, you know what, I, what am I going to, you know, how's the stock going to do? What am I going to do with it? Um, do I trade it? And the same thing with WWE, another stock getting crushed. You know, it's so funny. This stock did phenomenal. I remember the stock. I mean, if you look at the chart, the long-term chart, this thing went from like 20 to 100. But it looks like it's taking a nice little haircut right here. But you know what? It was a great short when they came out with the news. You could see that from 3 o'clock, it just literally tanked. It's breaking lower lows. You know, you could probably do a, you could probably do a, a short on this one. But once again, a little bit of brand name, a little bit of a big spread, and there's not a lot of tier sizes on it. Now, let's look at something that we can afford. You know, and stuff that we might want to consider. Let's start off with the LLIT. Another medical system uh, stock right here. Moving, doing pretty well. Took a big little jump early early in the morning. But now it's starting to back off a little bit. It's got great orders out there. Look at there uh, on the level three. You got some iceberg orders. You got a seller of 6,400 shares at $3. You got a couple of uh, big buyers here. 3,000, 3,700, around 20 around 275 so you got some good support resistance levels on this llit this look like it's in play we've already traded it went from 60 cents to 280 now it's just breaking another all-time high so this one also looks pretty good dbli another one one of the other stocks that have been on our, our radar uh you know another corona 
virus stock right here, CBLI. Look at this one. She's gapping up pretty big. We do got some support resistance levels from the pre previous two, three days. So make sure you work on it. It's got great orders out there. Decent amount of shares, a 20%, 300,000 shares. This one's going to be on our watch list. What else we got? A, H, I got a big list today, actually. Shockingly. Another one, another healthcare prod, another one right here. A, P, A, uh, A, H, P, I. Another nice little push, another nice little gap up. You got some resistance levels probably about two, three days from now. You could use that. Got some good orders. Not the, you know, pretty decent amount of shares so far, 83,000. But, uh... You know, right now it's kind of what's kind of turning me off about these stocks, though. Right now, in the beginning, they kind of flattened pre market. It looks like they gapped up, but they kind of like haven't been anywhere since 7 30 this morning. It seems like they're trading at the same same range. So I'm not, I'm not giddy of jumping into them right now. I want to see how they open up. We know about NNVC, you know, that one we already know about. Um, keep an eye on the I trade, guys. You know, we've been watching this lately. I is uh this is a stock i taught i talked about it yesterday i almost got crushed on a swing trade but you know what she she got she was up a little bit yesterday and she's up again this morning so maybe there's a little bit of a comeback on the stock right now it's 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 controllable it's cheap it's got great tier sizes it's got good orders out there i would i would really this this one right here is probably i'm keeping my very close eye on this one on this i trade right here i think this one so far is probably the best apt the stock is one of the companies that make those masks. I heard that the masks, 3M, everyone, they're sold out everywhere. You know what? You want to find out how, what inventory is out there? Go on Amazon. Look up, the, look up those uh, surgical masks. Sold out, sold out, sold out. They're sold out everywhere. You can't even get them anymore. So, you know what? If, if, you, if you were here, Jesus, Hurricane Sandy. I know you guys remember that. I made a killing in Hurricane Sandy. How do you make money in Hurricane Sandy? generator stocks took off you know home depot took off i mean there's always something in an industry that you would think like really that would take off i mean yeah it happened so all these little things really take off so be very you know keep an eye on them you know not only they've been good swing tr uh, day trades but in great swing trades sndx another one that took a very big hit from nine dropped down to six seems like it went right back up to where it left off the stock is making a little bit higher highs only bad thing about it, look at the spread. 815 by 844Y. That's a pretty big-ass spread right there. That's a big issue right there. What else we got? Uh, OPGN. This one also came up on my radar. This one took a big hit. Starting to come back a little bit. You know I love bottom fishing. This looks like maybe this maybe this is the comeback on OPGN. And uh, I think I just want to leave off with this one right here. SSI. This one also. Eh, maybe, maybe not. This one took a huge hit. I thought it was coming back a little bit. I don't know. Maybe not. I'll put it at stage stores. I'll keep an eye on the watch list. Doesn't look like it's really doing that much. All right, so you got a pretty big list here on for a Friday morning, which is very rare. Now, remember, you got, you got uh, one of the – you had, I'm sorry, the biggest event in the United States with the NFL Super Bowl on Sunday. Monday, everybody is going to be hungover. A lot of people are going to be dragging their feet. I could, um, unless something happens crazy over the weekend, I could probably already predict there's going to be a slow market on Monday morning, especially being the first day of the pay period. It's like a perfect storm. I feel like they set it up that way in the stock market. Like, no, 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 no. Because the Super Bowl was early this year. Like, I feel like they did it on purpose. So, um, so I, I think that's going to probably what's going to happen. But you're going to probably get a nice little movement in the market this morning. Ron, I'll play it again. Don't worry about it. You de listen, it's going to be my last time I'm going to play the end of that song. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so maybe if the Chiefs win, I'll play it again on Monday morning. How about that? All right. So, uh, so we, got, we got our watch list. We got a pretty good list. Uh, yesterday, same thing. It was okay yesterday. It wasn't great. But uh, keep an eye on all those uh, Corona stocks. Listen, I told you, it's only going to get, it seems like it's getting worse before it gets better. So. You know, let's see what, what let's see what ends up happening. All right, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading. If I don't see you this afternoon, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Super Bowl, and uh, we'll see you back here early. Just be safe. Don't drink and drive. Want to be you know be very careful, guys. And uh, let's see if we can make some uh, make some money. End out the year. End out the month on a good note. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.